And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Blake Snell. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub-350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub-twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year. Possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Charlie Blackman stands in now and watches strike one. Ball nope. one low. One ball, one strike. Way out one front ball. for strike two. two. Next one two. just misses. Two and two. And another ball. Check swing at the full count offering. Appeal to third. And no swing, says Joe McDonald. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. Here's the 0-2. Whoa, that's inside. To the right side. Oh, great stop on the Bogarts. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Nothing doing. Back here at the ballpark, our starting pitcher in this one, Antonio Senzatella. What do you have on him, Sagi? Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell the fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Next offering is downstairs. White Sox traded Fernando Tatis Jr. to the Padres in 2016 for James Shields and cash considerations. Tatis wondered, is it me? Am I not good enough? Well, Boog, I think it was just a mistake by the Chicago White Sox that they still regret to this day. Sure, he was good enough, and he's proved that when healthy as a big leaguer. Tatis waits. This to center field. Makes the grab one down. It's Xander Bogarts now. He's got four hits in the series on nine at bats. That one ripped, and that should be extra bases. Natalie turns and heads for second. Bogarts into second. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Machado. And he grounds one back up the middle. McMahon fires over to first. Machado out of the play. Here's Juan Soto. Four for seven in the series, so he's been good. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. And he's got a double. Well done. Drives in the run. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Boog, and you can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Foul ball there. Runner at second, two down. Foul ball still low and two. Here we go. 
Man at second. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Tovar makes the grab and that'll end the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. Here's Chris Bryant now. Snell back to work. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Well, Boo, Chris Bryant, a kid who accomplished a lot right away getting to the big leagues. Former number two overall pick, won the rookie of the year, was named the MVP in 2016, went in a World Series with the Cubs over a 100-year drought. Man, you can't start your career much better than that. Randall Gritchick now. And that's in there for strike one. Now, one of the people that really influenced Chris's career, especially at the plate, is dad Mike, a former ninth round pick of the Red Sox in 1980. He began working with Chris and his hitting every day starting when Chris was just five years old. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Elias Diaz in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Swing and a miss, struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Well, he's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. Back here at Petco Park, and now the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. And that one in the air center field. Gritchick makes the grab. And there's one away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. And that one lifted in the air center field. Gritchick puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now at the plate, Ha Sung Kim. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And now it's the Austin Jeff Nola. Austin. Hitless at four at bats yesterday. Nola. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Crone. That ends the inning. And welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's the second baseman, Ryan McMahon. And that one wrapped foul. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left oh, side. Right. Same side he throws from. Oh, and two now. Good eye right there. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Now here's Nolan Jones. That one's in there, 0 1. And a strike on the outside edge. In the dirt. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy in the mound. So this one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Wastes no time there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters... They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And there's a ball. Two outs, and one in scoring position. That misses the zone, 2-2. Two 
Bounce to the right. Cronenworth takes it himself, and that will end the inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. The wind and the pitch. This one high in the air to left center. Daza has it sized up. Makes the catch for the out. And here is Xander Bogarts. Doubled in his first A.B. In the air out towards right center. Grichik drifts towards it. He makes the grab. And there's two down. Two outs. Base is empty. And now it's Manny Machado. That one the other way. And he'll play it on a bounce. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. And the righty deals. Now fly ball to right center. They get the out on Soto. And that'll do it. One Start of the fourth, and now the DH, Charlie Blackman. There's a strike. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. If you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. Sneaks through, base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Crone swings through it for strike one. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Chris Bryant. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Got him! Two out. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the way of impactful at-bats and quality at-bats, and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt, frustration mounting and very high right now. Ripped on the ground a second. They take the force out, and that is that. The Rockies... Ready to go, bottom four. Now it's the DH, Matt Carpenter. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. That one ripped right center field. And it's off the wall. Throw, and it gets away. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. One away. Trent Grisham, the next up for the Padres. Flied out to center in his first at bat. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Carpenter, rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and they lead by two. Round second, digging for third. Tobar with a relay throw. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So one gone with a runner at third. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Picked up a base hit to center his first time on. Hard hit, right side. McMahon fires over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Austin Nola, the next up for the Padres. Rounded out his first time up. Good eye right there. Ball one, no strike. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Swing and a bouncer. 
Fires across the diamond. Inning over. Back here in San Diego. We go to the top of the fifth. And now it's Elias Diaz. That's in for a strike. For all these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Throw over to Cronenworth. One away here in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. McMahon, the next to hit, takes outside. Now a one and one. I got a ball, one strike. Going to count one and one two. Ball. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. In there for strike one. Yeah. And that one clips the corner. 0-2 now. Check swing. Now it appeal to third. And yes, he did. Joe McDonald rings him up. Rockies. Welcome back. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Fernando Tatis Jr. Hard hit left side. Tovar jumps. Throws. No, not in time. He legs it out. The effort was there with the jump throw. You got to love it. But it just wasn't in time. Still a really impressive play. Just to get to that ball and make it close at first. And not every shortstop can even make that play. And that one is lifted in the air, and no one can get there. Here comes Tatis around third. He will score, and it's 4-0. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Jose Urania. This is his third time out this year. Here's Manny Machado now. Back to the mound. Boots it. And he'll be safe at first. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Ground ball could be two. Slings to second. Relay to first. Double play. Matt Carpenter digs in now. One for two. That one is absolutely belted. Richick going back on it. Back some more. Out of here. Matt Carpenter leaves the yard. His second of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 6 nothing. hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total conviction on that swing base is empty with two away next is the speedy first baseman Jake Cronenworth and a foul ball Here's your one. Ouch, that one drilled him. Over to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. That ends the frame. Two across on this San Diego homer. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. You're watching Padres baseball on the show San Diego. Back here at Petco Park. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Swing and a miss, oh, and that's strike one. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. He goes down looking. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. 
Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Zips it across. Oh. Two quick outs to open the top the of the six. Here's the Chuck Nasty. Charlie. Charlie. Black. Black. In there, and it's 0-1. Blackman, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. And the next pitch is way outside. Well, a nice day off for him, not having to jog out to the outfield. Gets to be in the DH spot. Be curious to see how he keeps himself in a rhythm, not playing defense. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one just misses. That one down the line, and it finds its way through for a hit. And that means C.J. Crone will have a chance to hit. And here is C.J. Crone. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Crone, 33 years old. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. That one hops against the fence. Blackman coming home. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Textbook back control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. And first offering is fouled off. Man on second, two down. Right side, hard hit. He steps on the bag, and that is that. A run on two hits, and they leave. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. So digging in now for San Diego, Trent Grisham. And the oh, first okay. pitch misses for ball one. Urania, in his seventh season, he features a sinker, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Throw to second. Tag, and they got him. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw and a quick tag before he reaches the base. All over that one right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Nola lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Kim rounds second on his way to third. Kim coming home. He'll score easily. It's 7-1. Back-to-back -back base hits, pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And it's fouled away. Chris, let's not forget that Tatis was the cover guy. MLB to show 2021. Everybody remembers that. Yes, they do. Tovar. And they take care of Tatis for the out. And here comes Sander Bogarts. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Bogarts measures six feet, two inches, 220 pounds. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Randall Gritchick. And there's the strike. And fouled off. The pitch. Out to short, Bogarts, Bogarts, jump throw, he's in there. 
it doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Ball one there. Runner at first with no outs here. Just missed. High fly ball, right field. And there's one away. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. That's a strike. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. In the air, left field, down the line. Soto pulls it in for the out. And there's two away. Man at first, Nolan Jones now at the plate. And that one pulled foul. Gritchick, the runner at first with two gone. Strike two. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into score. Dives, and he can't hang on. No play. That's an infield single. So two on with two away. Ezekiel Tobar digging in for the Rockies. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. In the air, left field, and that is that. Two left for Colorado. Back here in San Diego. Urania back to work. In the air, out towards right center. That one hops against the fence. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And he takes it himself for the out. Now the DH for the Padres. Matt Carpenter. He's already homered in this game. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. Now two away as they get a run across. A new pitcher in the game, Denelson Lamet. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Cronenworth stands in now, looks at that one inside. And it's one and one. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Drew Pomerantz. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. Uh, hitters going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Ripped to third and caught. The first base is number 25, CJ. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, CJ Crone. One for three. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. One, two, three. Go. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. The center fielder. Here comes a pitch. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. A towering home run. His first homer of the year, it's 9-1.
Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark yes. ha Sung Kim getting ready to hit swings through that one oh and one That's hard hit on the line. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Jones to first. And now two gone. Ripped on a line to center. Drops into the glove, and the inning is over. The Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. Last chance coming up for the Rockies. Back here. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Luis Garcia. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. That one drifts inside. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Fights it off, he'll see another. 2-2 Two -two on the way. Got him swinging. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Comes up empty on the swing. Oh, and two now. And downstairs. One down, base is empty. That one drilled left field. Soto snags it for the second out. Next to hit, Elias Diaz. Lined in the left center, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. McMahon stands in with two away as he takes a ball. And that's in for a strike. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help, never helped me. Pitch misses, and now three and one. Diaz off of first with two away. And a big swing and a miss. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Back-to-back -back singles. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres take the first three games of this four-game set. Got a big win by eight runs. And when you have that kind of lead, do you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead? So nice job today all the way around to get the W. Nine one is how it ends for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show I'm John Shambi we'll see you soon